All right, good morning, everybody. So today we're still gonna go over our mental images, but we're gonna see the pictures. We're not gonna read the story. Y'all are going to basically tell a story through the pictures today. All right, so our story is called Violet the Pilot. What do we notice about this person? Okay, she's flying something. She has a dog, possibly. Does the dog look happy, sad, scared? What do y'all think? Talk out loud to me. What does a pilot do? What do we know about pilots? Let's use our background knowledge. Okay, maybe they're adventurous. That's an internal characteristic. Remember, we're still looking at characters as well because characters and setting help us create these mental images. All right, so let's look. Violet the Pilot by Steve Breen. And again, we are just looking at the pictures. Huh, so characters externally. Remember on the outside, she has freckles. She's happy, she's smiling. Brown eyes. She's wearing a pilot outfit. She has a dog who looks happy. He's got bright blue eyes. Huh. What kind of plane or object is she flying or driving? Looks kind of like a bike. Do you normally see people flying on a bike? On a bike? So maybe she's resourceful? Do we think she built this herself? These are the questions that you have to ask yourself. Okay, let's look. She's reading. She's wearing some kind of jumpsuit outfit. She's up high in a tree, so maybe she likes to climb. She's not afraid. Do y'all see her house? Remember, the house could be a setting. Van Winkle Salvage. Oh, okay, so it looks like there are people here. Maybe that's her mom and her dad. Let's just look at the pictures and make a prediction on what's happening. <gasps> I don't know if y'all can see this very well, but it looks like there's all kinds of tools and little odds and ends, little parts that she has torn apart, like little clock faces, gears. Oh, she looks younger in this picture than in this one, doesn't she? Oh, look, he looks scared. Maybe it could be a brother or a friend. I don't know, because look, there are two women here now. And this one looks angry, like, oh my gosh. <gasps> look at the dog. How do you think he's feeling internally, like on the inside? <laughs> like, whoa, oh my gosh, this thing is going so fast. These are all characters. Remember the people or animals in a story? Yeah. She looks like she's tinkering with something, building it maybe. That dog, if that's the same dog, he looks like he's reading and looks kind of puzzled. He's scratching his chin. What? They look kind of scared or worried. And she's like, yeah, bye. She's really happy, it looks like. Now look what she's in. Kind of looks like a bathtub. It's pretty resourceful. She looks like she sewed all of this together. Oh, there's that picture of the bike again from the other page, from the front page. Here she's, it looks kind of like a trash can. What do you think is happening in this story, guys? What can these, this character, how can we describe her? both internally and kind of externally. I like this picture, it makes me laugh. Look at the bugs in her teeth. They kind of look like braces, but they're flies. Okay. 
Okay, we got some more characters. Who do you think they are? Look, we see another building. Is that the same house? No? So maybe the setting changed a little bit? Do we have any clues to tell us where she's at? Where do we usually find kids? Maybe a football, they've got books in their hand. She's reading a book, there's an apple. Think about that kind of setting. Oh, look. Again, the setting looks like it might have just flipped to another place. Look at her, her room. What kind of posters she has up on her wall? What do you think she likes to do? Today we're able to see the images, but can we place the story now? We're gonna work backwards. She looks pretty proud, he's taking a picture. Whoa, guys, look at this. Looks like she's flying. Oh my gosh, they're upside down. Ah, I bet that dog is terrified. Look. And then she swoops him in. She looks pretty happy, right? My gosh, guys. Do you see how scared he, this person looks? Like, help me! Think about what you're hearing, like the waves, the water rushing, and then in a waterfall, possibly. What kinds of sounds do you think you might hear? Look, they're in a forest, so maybe there are birds, animals that you can hear. You can also hear the water. Can you smell something? Maybe you can smell the trees. We see people scared. Yeah. Look, this picture is all in black. It's all in a shadow. There's hardly any words on the pages, but it's still telling us a story about what's happening. How do you think she feels right now? Do you think the, her internal traits are changing? She kind of looks sad and depressed a little bit. She was just really excited. We saw in the pages before, she was really excited, see? And now they've changed. Why did they change? Huh. All of these things, the characters, the setting, they help us create those mental images. If you, I wouldn't have showed you any of those pictures and I just read you the story, could you have kind of told me what was happening? Probably. All right, guys, y'all have a fun assignment today. I hope you do really well. See you later.